Hey, this is Mr. Whiting, and this video is designed to help you to create multiple statutes in the Missouri Revised Statutes for Youth and Government. Now, before you watch this video, I hope you watch the video. You really should watch the video about how to create a new statute, just one new statute before you watch this one. That'll help orientate you to this. But this one is now how to create multiple ones and some of the rules behind doing that, okay? And, and we're gonna create some crazy two, we're just gonna do two, but we're gonna create some kind of crazy ones and some really simple ones just to show you as an example on how to get the style and form of this bill uh, proper. Okay, the first thing you wanna do uh, at the top here is you're gonna create this header, okay? And this is really important on the header. Uh, actually, that's not the header, this is the header right here. Be it enacted by the Missouri YMCA General Assembly as follows. Okay, now that's just because this is the Missouri Youth and Government Program and that's the proper form for introducing a bill at the state convention. Then the next line here is an act to amend chapter. And then I'm going to keep this in red. Um, you're going to have to pick a chapter. You're going to have to find in the Missouri statutes where your new law is best going to be. And I've already looked at this new, these two new laws that I'm going to create, and it's going to go into chapter 10. I'm going to keep that in red just so you can see where it is here. So you don't want, in fact, it's very, very rare that you're going to create laws in multiple chapters, okay? It is possible, but you need to run that by the advisor first. Generally, you want to keep everything, all the new laws that you're going to create need to be in the same chapter. So an act to amend chapter 10, Missouri revised statutes by adding there two, and it says one new section, we're actually gonna create two new sections. Now, what happens if you're creating 13? Okay, then you would write the word 13 right here. Don't put the number one three there, don't do that. You need to write out 13 or write out 42 or whatever number. So in this case, we're just gonna do two and keep it simple two new sections related to, and then we have uh, the subjects, and the, the subjects here are going to be the two, and, and they're very similar, but the two subjects that we're going to have in here, and I'm going to put those in red. So uh, this is uh, two new sections related to pawpaw fruit, designated as state fruit, um, and rock candy as official state candy. So I'm going to create a state fruit, and I'm going to create a state candy in Missouri, since there's nothing like that. Now, there is actually a state fruit tree, and it is the pawpaw tree, and, but there's no state fruit. So I figured, eh, let's make it simple. Let's make the state fruit from the state fruit tree. Makes sense. Okay, whatever. Okay, <laughs> so this is going to be kind of crazy. So let's go ahead and create our two new laws, and these are very, very small little laws. Now, first of all, we have Section A, and Section A is going to be dealing with our first one, and you want to keep these in numerical order for um, uh, where they're going to go in the Missouri statutes. So first of all, we're going to be putting this in Chapter 10, because that's where we're amending. Chapter 10, Missouri Revised Statutes, is amended by adding thereto one new section, because this is the first one, this is the first law, to be known as, and we're going to make this not sections, but section number, and you're going to have to create a new number. And this has to be a number that doesn't, it isn't being used right now. And in this case, we're going to call it 10.1, whoops, 10.106, because there is no Missouri statute 10.106. Now we're going to make one, okay? And so it's going to read as follows. 10.106, pawpaw fruit designated as state fruit. The pawpaw fruit from the pawpaw tree, and don't ask me to pronounce this Latin here, but that's the genus and species of the tree, uh, is designated as the state fruit of Missouri. That's it. That's the whole law. I, I've created this whole new law right here. So now that's going to be the official fruit of our state. Now, this is all new language, and every time you add words or add anything to the, uh, to the Missouri statutes, you need to put it in bold. And so I've made this 
in bold print. So that's our first new law. Okay, now we're going to have a section B because I'm making two things, okay? So section B, again, we're going to be in chapter 10. So you need to put chapter 10, Missouri Revised Statutes, is amended by adding there to one new section to be known as, and it's just one section, and we're going to have to create a whole new number and make sure that this number is not being used by something else. And so this is going to be 10.181 because there is no 10.181 until I make it there. And it's going to read as follows. Okay. Rock candy, official state candy. Rock candy is selected for and shall be known as the official candy of the state of Missouri. Okay. And um, yeah. Okay. And that's it. That's the whole law. Again, I've created a whole new statute creating the state official state candy of the state of Missouri. Now, again, these are all new things that are going in the Missouri statutes, so make sure that they are in bold. So I put that in bold, and guess what? We're done, okay? So again, I'll come back up here to the header, okay? Make sure that you put the act to amend, it, and you need to put the, the chapter number. In this case, I put two new statutes in Chapter 10 of the Missouri statutes by adding there to two new sections, two new, not news, but new sections related to pawpaw fruit, designated as state fruit, and rock candy, official state candy. Okay, now, section A will be dealing with the first law, which I'm going to create as 10.106. Section B will be 10.181. And there, oh, and wait a minute, I already screwed up. This should be 10.181 period, there. Now we have the proper form, okay? So hopefully this helps you in understanding how to create multiple laws within the same chapter, and that may be the case. If you find yourself having to make uh, a new statute in different chapters, you need to cover that with your advisor because that's very rare to do. You don't want to do that because it's usually changing subjects, and you want to keep your bill uh, and focused on one particular subject. In this case, this subject is state symbols and emblems, okay? Um, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me or email me. Uh, I, I wish you luck, and I hope this uh, video helps you in creating multiple statutes.